G'day guys, welcome back again. Another continued experiment today. Now, I hope you're not getting sick of these flip cup paws of mine. Just putting my gloves on. I'm still experimenting, trying to find the perfect formula for my flip cups. So, I did have a perfect formula, but I changed a couple of ingredients. So now I have to start all over because my mixture is a little bit thinner. So I am using my homemade formula, three parts Floetrol, two parts PVA, one part pouring medium. Now I don't have any water in this one because as I said, um, I'm using a different glue and it's a bit thinner. So I'm gonna try it without the water and see how we go today. So for cells, I'm using the coconut milk hair serum. It's very strong, this stuff. And I've just put it into a little squeeze bottle so that I can get two drops out. I'm only gonna use two drops. Uh, when I do this 30 by 40 centimeter card or 12 by 16 inch, I need about 600 grams of mixed paint. So I've got five colors. Each cup's got 90 grams of pouring medium and 30 grams of paint. That's a ratio of three to one. Three parts pouring medium, one part paint. So that's 120 grams, which is four ounces. So normally, if I use the treadmill silicone, I would use one drop per ounce, but this is really strong. So I'm only gonna put two drops in instead of four, as I would if I was having treadmill silicone. And I'm not gonna do the white. Now this purple looks a bit strange because I'm just using my pink cup from yesterday. So two into the pink. Whoops, I think I've got three there. Had a bit of a drip afterwards. So not in the black or white. I've got pink, purple and turquoise today just for some nice bright colours. And give it a really good stirring, this coconut milk. It's pretty thick, so give it a good stir. You wouldn't stir that much if you were using the treadmill silicone because it's quite thin. Now, normally I put white in the bottom, but I found when I pull my cups down and then back around, I get a white streak. And I think it's because the white's on the bottom. So I'm gonna put black in the bottom and see if that helps. thick although I think it's a good consistency for me I don't know if you can see that kind of leaves a little bit of a mound where the paint hits the other paint and you can see it sort of ribbons on top sits on top just for a split second before it goes so I like that consistency so I'm doing dark light dark light and that's sitting on top quite well. That black and the pink should pop really nicely with any luck. Nice two colors together. And we'll go purple next. Pink and the purple are relatively close in family. So rather than put the pink next to the turquoise, which will probably end up a little bit muddy or a little bit purple anyway, I'm just separating those two. So white next. And then my turquoise, I'll keep it away from these two. And then the black and the turquoise should look nice together as well. So that's why I'm doing that. Just two layers so I can finish off my black now. I like to layer my colours just twice. It's just the right amount of paint. If I layer them three times, it's only a tiny bit of paint in each layer and they tend to get a bit muddy or a bit lost. So just two layers I find works really nicely. Sunday today, I've got the day off work. So continuing with my experiments in my new studio, in my converted garage. It's spring now, so it's it's not hot yet. 
but I will have to get an air conditioner in here soon in the next month before it starts heating up because in summer it can get to about 50 degrees Celsius in here and if it gets that hot my flow troll will curdle and become lumpy I don't know what will happen to my paints but I wouldn't think it would be good so I'll have to have the area air conditioned I'll try and put some kind of insulation in my metal garage door does anyone know of insulation you can put in a garage door in a metal garage door to stop the heat coming in it's going to have to be something though that will stay in place when I you know lift the door up because I do go in and out through the garage door out to my car so something that needs to be able to stay within the garage door panels when I lift it but will still help to keep the heat out I'll have to look into that but if you know of anything let me know I don't know whether just those pink bats will work or whether I can get something a little bit more solid in there not sure all right okay, so the blacks on the bottom this time now if this is a little bit too thick if my cells are a little bit too small and I'm not getting enough movement I can then add water to this mix but I just want to see how it goes without the, the water first because these little blobs are kind of sitting where they are they're not spreading out so it may be a little bit too thick so the thicker your paint the smaller your cells but I do want to tilt and that will stretch the cells so you don't want your mixture too thin to begin with otherwise your cells are quite big to begin with and then you stretch them and then they get all wobbly and out of shape so a good consistency is important for this technique so I'm using white purple it's a lovely bright purple get the lid back on and the pink is the pink that I've made up myself is that one there beautiful color the aqua is also one that I make myself Oops. stir that in that's a little bit of pouring medium on the top again beautiful color my favorite I love that with navy blue I haven't used navy blue for a while now do that oh and black you don't need to see black and black there we go five colors uh, as I said, 90 grams of pouring medium, 30 grams of paint, that's 120 grams per cup, times five cups is 600 grams for this 30 by 40 centimetre, 12 by 16 inch card. Okay, let's do this. Now, I'm going to try, instead of bringing it down and back up, I'm just going to try and just flip it over. Hopefully I won't lose too much of it. Because... Oh, that didn't work very well, did it? I don't want to have to bring the paint back up. I, I don't want to leave too much in the cup either. So try and find a way of doing it. Don't know about these. I don't know what that's going to look like. We'll see. Maybe I can just lift straight up. Because this is a bit messy here. Anyway, we'll see what it looks like. I just didn't want to bring them back around. See how you've got a nice um, even sort of blending of colours there? If I brought the colour back up, I'd get the stripe. But here I get a nice blending there between the two cups. Okay, now, because my mix is thicker and I haven't got as much oil in it, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a torch. Bring some cells up too many. Torching tends to bring caterpillars up as well so I've got to be careful of that. So I'll let that sit just for a minute. So the cells are quite small at the moment in comparison to what I would normally have with a, thicker, a thinner mix but as I said we'll see what happens when I start tilting them. Got lovely multicoloured cells coming up. The coconut milk hair serum does that. Beautiful 
multicolored cells. So I don't like this side as much, so I'm going to flip it around and we'll tilt off that. I'll have to work out a way of tipping that back and getting all the paint out rather than ending up with this mud. Because this half's beautiful and this not so much. But yeah, maybe I can just lift them straight. We'll see. That means another experiment, doesn't it? It's fine when you're doing a big canvas and you've got room to drag the, the paint all the way down, but on these little ones, it's a bit harder. Okay, back and forth, back and forth. Wow, those cells are beautiful. Just beautiful. Maybe I don't actually need so much paint. No, you do need a lot of paint because you need the weight of the paint to be able to, to move around. So no point cutting back on it. You're better off having lots and then just tipping it off. If you want beautiful cells, you need lots of paint. Over we go. And just bring that back. I don't want to lose all that paint. And I can let go of my stick. Got a dog sitting down here next to me. What are you barking at, Izzy? Let me shut the door. I thought I'd bring her out with me. She's just sitting quietly on a little bed next to me here, but. One of the other dogs in the other room have started barking, so she's thought she'd join in. Okay, now I'm having to stretch quite a lot to get down here, and that's because I've lost a lot of my paint. See all that? I lost a lot of it down the bottom because I wasn't happy with it. So, but I think the consistency is really good. with the consistency it's just a matter of getting coverage now that I've lost so much over the corner or over the edge I should say not over the corner so bring that back to the middle then I can tilt that just to get this in line again look at that amazing those cells really amazing now, I'll just go straight down. I don't really want to tilt anything off. I'll put a little bit of this aqua just here, since I've got aqua on that corner. But yeah, the problem is I, I lost too much of it to begin with over the edge. It's really not much left in my cups. I yeah, made plenty of paint, just lost it because I didn't like that area down the bottom when it came out of my cup. What can I put down there? A little bit of this, I think. Just to help the weight of the paint. Move over the edge there. I don't want to lose any of this. But I have to. All right, let's just do it. Over you go. Come back. Move over that way. Push the weight of the paint over there. Come back. Okay. Done. No more. Get the paint out from underneath. That little corner can just stay aqua, it's fine. No point ruining all of this just to get that tiny little corner down there. Just trying to 
put these little cells back here into a better shape. Okay. So really pretty cells, happy with that pouring medium, happy with the consistency of it. And I don't really want to torch either because I'll get a lot of these tiny little, little cells up. See how there's kind of this white haze over the top here? I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean. The cells will come up. Just a very light torching just there. See how those little ones are coming up? Just there. And just there. So that's all I'm going to do. Just to get some colour into these areas here. See little tiny ones popping up? And they're so pretty. They're multicoloured cells. And then over here, I just did that one wipe through with the torch and I'm getting all these little tiny ones here. So if you like those, torch afterwards. If you don't like those, don't torch afterwards and just keep the big ones. But sometimes it's nice having a, a combination of these big ones and then these little tiny ones around there. So that was two drops of coconut milk hair serum in three of the colours. Although I think one of the colours that ended up with three drops. So it's not a lot. I've still got plenty, plenty of cells. I'm really loving this area here. This is the type of cell that I really want. See those? Multicoloured. So, happy with that. I don't think I will add my water, but I just need to work out how to flip those cups down and get all the paint out at once. So that last one, as I said, just didn't work. I had those blobs down the bottom there and I tilted them off and I lost a lot of paint. So I kind of had to stretch too much. See how these cells here have gone a little bit wobbly? They're not round anymore. It's because I've torched afterwards and I haven't torched this area here. So these are all beautiful, beautiful shaped cells. So probably best not to torch afterwards. All right, I'll take them in for a close up. I like those colours, pink, aqua, purple. So I'll do this one again and see if I can improve on my flip cup technique. Oops, which way am I trying to zoom? Oops, that's a bit much. Not working very well. <laughs> oh, that'll do. I'll just take the camera down and show you. So try to zoom it and it's not in frame anymore. I'll just take you down instead, show you these gorgeous, gorgeous cells. Look at those. Amazing. My favourite type of cell. Finally. It's taken a long time. And then these here are these little tiny ones that have popped up from the torching. They're really pretty though. They've, they've got multi-colours as you can see and then up here more little multi-coloured cells and over here those are the ones I was talking about that sort of lost their round shape after I torched how pretty are those multi-coloured cells so pretty Back to my favourite corner. It would be nice if I could have a whole pour with that, just that. Might be a bit busy, hey? Okay, so that's the pour. Hope you enjoyed that video. I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.